Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how can you set a default format for a pivot table. Before I explain you what do I mean by a default format, let me just show you a quick problem that often happens with pivot table. So here I have a data and I'm going to create a pivot table real quick. So Alt NV and put a pivot table in a new worksheet, say OK. And I have a pivot table. Now let's say I drag my customers in my rows also a region on top of that and I drag the sales amount right in the values. Now take a look at this pivot. If you're a regular pivot table user and often you might have had some formatting preferences in the sense that you may not always want to have a subtotal. You would like to remove the plus minus signs. You would want to have the pivot table in a classic or a tabular layout. Now each time you create a pivot table you would have to do these changes again and again on the new pivot tables being created. How can you set a default layout so that when you create a pivot table, these changes are automatically applied to your pivot table. This will help you save a lot of time. So let's just see how can we do that. So for the first time, I'm going to make the changes that I want to my pivot table. So I go to the analyze tab and take off the plus minus signs. I'm done in the design tab. I change the report layout to a tabular format and the pivot table is like this. And I also say that, Hey, I don't need the subtotal. So do not show subtotals. And that's, that's how my pivot table look. Now I would want this format to be applied to all the pivot tables that I create. How do I do that? I go to the file menu in the file menu. I hit on the options. In the options, I have a data tab and in the data tab, I have edit default layout, make changes to the default layout of the pivot tables. Now, if you're not able to see this option, this is primarily because you might not have updated your Excel and uh, your Excel is still running the old version. So Microsoft has recently come up, not recently, but it's been a quite a while has come up with this option where you can make the pivot tables as a default. So I'm just going to click on edit the layout and instead of you know, uh, specifying the options here. I mean, I can also do a report layout here, the grand totals and the subtotals here, and even the pivot table options here. What I could do is I could import. So maybe I just click on the top of the pivot. I click on import and you can see that all the options have been set. Additionally, I also want to say that do not fit the column width on pivot table updates and I click on okay and I click on okay. And now this layout has been saved for my pivot table. Now let's just go take a look at the data once again and real quick make another pivot table. So Alt NV press enter and I make a pivot table. Let's just drag the region again and the customer again and my sales amount once again. And you can see that when I made a new pivot table, it did not uh, have the old layout. It just had the new layout. Now, additionally, some people also have the uh, preference of the style of the pivot table. So people often kind of click on the pivot table, go to the design tab and pick up a particular style, the look and feel of it. I generally like the, the none layout. So you could also choose the none layout from here, but this is not covered in the edit default layout. How you could apply this, you could just right click on the style and set it as a default style. Now, next time when you create a pivot table, not only it will have the layout changes that you specified in the pivot table options, but also the design uh, that you specified in the pivot table design tab. So I'm just going to make another pivot table real quick. And uh, in the region, uh, in the rows, I have region customers and uh, sales. And you can see that uh, I applied that design and that has come by default. All right. Thank you so much for watching this. This was all about uh, setting uh, a default layout of the pivot table. If you have any questions around this, please feel free to uh, hit me up in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching this. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.